lunchtime and it's time for Thai curry pumpkin soup. So all you need is your pumpkin, about 500 grams of pumpkin. And just remember with any of these soup recipes, you can feel free to double the recipe. Um, you don't have to do just one batch, but we are doing the one batch today just for the demonstration. So all in the pot, 500 grams of pumpkin. We've got a, a can of light coconut milk and do make sure you get the light coconut milk. There is a huge difference in the fat content between normal coconut milk and light coconut milk. Pour that in. So we need a tablespoon of red curry paste. And because the tablespoon measure doesn't fit, I'll just do two half tablespoons in there. Pop it in. We've also got one green apple, peeled and cored and diced. Pop that in. The coriander and the stock. Give it a good mix. And that's all there is to it. Just let it sit on the stove and simmer away until your desired consistency with the vegetables has been reached. You know, the pumpkin's soft so that you can put the blender through. So we'll just let that sit there and simmer away for a while. Right, the soup is finished. So what I like to do now, you can either use a food processor, but I just use a stick blender and make it smooth so basically just keep blending until it's this consistency you like Okay, and plate it up. Now this serves four and it's your choice whether you serve more or less with it, depending on how big a bowl you like. I have only got a small bowl so I could probably serve six or eight with uh, what I've got in the, in the saucepan here. But that's the soup, a little bit of coriander on top to garnish and it's all set to go. And you'll be queuing for more after you've tried this one.